In this video, I'll show you how to replace WooCommerce price with text in just a few simple steps. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. So here we are on our demo store and currently I've replaced the price for all our products and instead I've added this call for price um, text, okay? So if we actually click over to the product page, here you can see there's no pricing and there's no add to cart button as well. Instead here it just says um, call for text and we can change this message to whatever we want. We can say log in to view price, call this number, fill out this form. Any text we want to add there, we can do it, okay? So the cool thing with this method, which I'll show you is you can replace the price for products within a particular category for a specific products or for all products like I've done here. So throughout the store, I've replaced all the price with this particular custom text here so in your case you can go ahead and customize each message based on a product and so much more okay so if you want to create a similar setup in your WooCommerce store the first step is to head over to WeSuite.com go ahead and download the WeSuite request the quote plugin I'll leave the link in the description below and once you've done so let's head over to our dashboard okay so here we are in our WordPress dashboard assuming you've downloaded the WeSuite request the quote plugin the next step is just to go ahead and upload that plugin so you go plugins add new go ahead and and upload and install the plugin. Once you've done so, you'll see the sweet sweet menu here. Activate your license key, then it will automatically redirect you to this add on section here. Okay, and then from here, we can just go ahead and enable where it says request the quote here. So we just toggle this to on. Once you've done so, you'll see this manage button here. If you don't see this manage button, just refresh the page and you'll see this manage button and also this request the quote menu here as well. So you can either click on this or just click manage. Okay. Okay. So on this page, we can see all the different rules that we've created. And here I've just created a rule to apply to logged out users. Okay. So if we log out of our site, then we'll see um, all the prices are replaced with our custom text. Okay. So in your case, you'll just go ahead and click add new rule. Okay, and then from here, we can just give it a name and this is just for internal purposes, okay? So in the case you've got multiple rules, then you know exactly what each rule is doing, okay? So we can just say, okay, so in this example, um, I'm just gonna replace the price with a particular text for admin, okay? So let's just quickly view our store and then we'll just double check that it's displaying as it should, okay? So for example, we'll click on this bag here and here we can see the price, we can see the add to cart button and so on. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna say, we're gonna specify this rule to registered users. So we can set it to guest users, which are users logged out of our site, or we can set it to specific um, registered users, okay? And then as for rule priority, so it goes one to 10, one being the highest, 10 being the lowest. So this only comes into effect when you've got a customer that matches multiple rule. The rule with the highest priority will trigger for that user, okay? Okay, and then here where it says user role, I'm gonna select admin and again i'm going to set this to apply to all products just because it's easier for demonstration purposes okay in your case you can select it um, based on a particular product so you'll just search for the product here or you can trigger the rule based on a particular product category okay or just all product okay and then here where it says hide price we'll select yes and then here we can add our custom message okay so we can say for example Okay, so we can say call 118 um, junk, okay? And as for our add to cart button, since we're replacing a price and we want um, customers to actually call us, it makes sense to just replace the add to cart button with a custom button. So here we can add a custom call to action instead of the add to cart button, right? So we can um, add like a register link, um, whatever it is you want. Um, but in this case, I'm gonna leave it blank. So essentially we won't have any add to cart button, okay? So I'm just gonna go ahead and publish this rule. Okay, and then when we refresh this page, okay, so the price should be replaced with our custom text and the add to cart button should be hidden as well. Okay, so I'll refresh this page. Okay, and here we've got our custom text here instead of the pricing. So it says call um, 118 um, junk and there's no add to cart button. Okay, so you can be creative with this. So again, you can specify this rule based on a particular category, particular product or just all products and based on different um, users as well. Okay, and that's how you replace the WooCommerce product price with a custom text in just a few simple steps. As always, if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe for more videos like this. And if you've got any questions, Questions, leave in the comment box below or reach out to support and we'll get back to you as soon as possible.